All right, what's up guys? This is Jake and in this video we're going to be going into how you can set up taxes on your Shopify store and in particular we're going to be looking at sales tax and this is going to be relevant for people inside of the US so this is really only going to be applicable for US stores since that's where I'm located so that's what I'm familiar with. So with that said we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. But before we get into the video, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Maverick. Maverick is an AI-based solution that allows you to send personalized videos to your customers at scale. This is a great way to boost loyalty, retention, and lifetime value of your customers. The issue with running an e-commerce store nowadays is that it's very hard to stand out amongst the crowd. Building stores has become easier than ever, meaning there's a lot of fierce competition. Creating custom personalized content for your customers is a unique way to show the face behind your brand and to build up a personal connection with your customers. This is something that will help you stand out from your competitors and make your customers more emotionally engaged with your brand. The issue with this is that it takes time to create this content. If you get 30 orders a day, imagine how long it would take to create 30 personalized videos for each order. That's where Maverick can help. Using AI, Maverick can create countless personalized videos for you automatically based off of one initial video that you create. Here's an example of what it could look like. Teresa, thank you for your purchase. Jocelyn, thank you for your purchase. Casey, thank you for your purchase. Maverick is very easy to use and takes less than 45 minutes to get up and running. So if you're looking to stand out from your competition and build meaningful relationships with customers that will lead to more sales, be sure to check out Maverick by clicking the first link in the description. So getting started here, taxis is definitely one of the more boring things associated with running an e-commerce store, but unfortunately it is a reality that we all have to go ahead and deal with and set up. So it is something that you wanna make sure that you are setting up inside of your store. So fortunately, most of the time with taxes in the majority of cases, you're only gonna have to be paying sales tax to the states that you actually have a physical location in. So this will likely be your home state or if you have an additional warehouse in another state, you'll likely only be paying sales taxes to those specific locations. But there are some other outlier scenarios as well that we'll be taking a look at. But in order to actually set up taxes on your store, we're gonna just come down here to settings here and we can go ahead and click on taxes and duties. And this actually recently got easier because Shopify actually has released the Shopify tax feature here. So before you'd have to use different things like third party apps or something like that, but now we can do it all within Shopify itself. So if we just click on review US tax settings here, we can see that now it says our store is now using Shopify tax. We can have stress-free sales tax collection on our first $100,000. It's going to be completely free in US online sales. And then we can see beyond $100,000, the transaction fee is 0.35%. So it's a small fee, but what this is going to go ahead and do is it's going to automate all of the sales tax collections for us so that way we have minimal possible headaches so if we scroll down here we can see here regions that we're collected in and by default it's going to go ahead and show the initial region here that your store is in so you can see here that whatever state you're located in is going to show up right here and then what you would have to go ahead and do is just click on this here and click edit sales tax information and then just go ahead and input your sales tax ID. So in order to do that, you would just have to actually register with whatever state it is you're located in. So we're not gonna go ahead and go through that in this video because it's going to vary completely depending on what state you're located in. So because every state has different laws and a different setup. But in most cases, all you have to do is go ahead and go to Google and then search your state plus sales tax permit. And then you'll be presented with different options to where you can go ahead and apply for a sales tax permit within your state. And then once you get that, you'll get the ID and you can go ahead and put that right here. And then once that's went ahead and set up, Shopify is actually going to automatically be collecting all of this sales tax for you. So if you're selling to someone else in your home state, then you're going to be collecting that sales tax on it. And then let's say you have a warehouse in another state. So let's say you had a warehouse in like California, 
you can go ahead and choose to collect sales tax on this specific state as well and then you get your sales tax permit from there and you put the id in right here and then click collect sales tax and you'd have that set up right here another thing you can do is you can go ahead and categorize your products for tax purposes so if you click on manage categories here you'll be able to take a look at your different products here and then you can go ahead and choose the different product categories in here and this is just going to be important because sometimes different product categories are going to be taxed differently so you just want to make sure that all of these different products are associated with the right category so for this particular product here the category would be like candy and chocolate you click save and you can go through and give a category to all of your products here so backing out of there it really is pretty simple there's not too much to set up once you have your different tax ids and everything inputted right here but one thing that can throw a wrinkle into it is if you are selling a lot of products to a specific state so if you have a ton of sales in a specific state even if you don't have a physical location there you might be considered to have an economic nexus there so if we go over here to this article which i'll link in the description so that way you can go ahead and read through it but you can see that an economic nexus is just essentially going to mean that if you have a specific amount of sales in a specific state then you might be required to pay sales tax in that state so we can see here in alabama for example the economic nexus threshold is two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year based on the previous calendar year sales. So if you were to sell over $250,000 worth of products to Alabama, then you would qualify as having an economic nexus there, meaning you would have to go ahead and pay sales tax. So this is something to keep in mind. And unfortunately it gets more confusing because every state is a little bit different. So I'll go ahead and link this article in the description, but you can go ahead and see that every state you can see Arkansas is here is $100,000 a year in revenue or 200 or more separate transactions. So we can see here that every state is going to have its own different rules here. If only they were all like Delaware, it would be a lot easier. But I'll link this specific article in the description for you to go ahead and reference. So depending on if you're a smaller store and you're not hitting these thresholds, you probably won't have to worry about it. But if you are a larger store doing a bunch of revenue and you have a lot of revenue isolated in one specific state then you may qualify to have an economic nexus there and you may have to pay sales tax in that state as well and if you do then you would just have to come in here and add that specific state in here as well just like before so we're going to shopify tax here if we click on manage we can go ahead and see that there are different plans here and we can see that these two are free but it takes a lot more of a headache on your part so considering that you get the automated plan for free for the first $100,000 in US revenue, you might as well go ahead and use this. That's going to be the easiest to use. And if we go ahead and back out here, once again, we'll just take a look at monitoring our liability for a second. We can see that we have no immediate tax liabilities, but if we are liable for tax in a region, it will appear here. So as soon as you start actually hitting these economic nexus thresholds that's when it will actually show up right here so shopify tax will actually go ahead and warn you of that so actually i'll show you an example of how that would show up right here so if i were to go ahead and let's say we create a warehouse in another state real quick so i'll go ahead and do that by going to locations say we fulfill orders from here so we'll just go ahead and put in a address of a random starbucks here in kansas and we can see that we'll go ahead and use this as our warehouse here and if we go ahead and go back to taxes and duties and we review our tax settings again, we can scroll down and we can see here now manage tax collection based on our stores data and Shopify. You may need to start collecting taxes here. And then we can see that we may need to start collecting tax in Kansas as of January 2023. And if we were to come in here, monitor our liability, we can see that it shows up right here as well. And we can see the details of why we need to go ahead and collect taxes here. It's because we added a location here. So that's one way that you'll end up qualifying for sales taxes. And another will be the economic nexuses. Like I said, if you reach these specific thresholds. And if you do reach these thresholds, it's going to show up right here. So Shopify essentially is automating all of this for you. So the only process that isn't going to be automated is actually signing up for your sales tax permit, 
within the states that you are required to pay sales tax and then obviously Shopify doesn't pay this tax for you so you're going to make sure that when you collect sales tax on all of these sales that you are setting that aside so that way you can pay it at whatever intervals are required within that state so I know that taxes is boring and kind of confusing, but I hope this video helped to simplify that for you. And to be clear, I am not an accountant, so be sure to go ahead and consult a professional when it comes to handling your taxes come tax time. And with that said, I would recommend using the Shopify tax service. It makes things a lot easier when it comes to setting up sales tax. With that said, if you did find this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.